You know this was 1920s theme party, right? Oh yeah, you're one to talk. At least I'm still in my decade. What's your excuse? I didn't want to put one of those flapper headband things on. It's too much work. Oh yeah, that makes perfect sense. Look, this only took like five minutes once I figured out how hairspray works. Hairspray is essentially an invisible hairnet made of synthetic polymers that coat your hair with a thin film and glue your hairstyle in place. Common hairspray polymers are polyvinyl pyrrolidone and polyvinyl acetate, which can be mixed together to form PV-PVA. This is where the gluing metaphor comes in. PVP is actually an ingredient in wood glue as well. For how these polymers work, here's Ms. Beautyfile. So, as soon as you spray a coat on your hair, the liquid hairspray connects individual hair fibers wherever they happen to touch. The hairspray dries at this intersection and the polymers bond with themselves, holding hair in the right place. In general, formulas try to have a good balance of tackiness and flexibility so that your dew is locked into place, but it also has some flow. The bulk of hairspray is a liquid that helps keep these polymers dissolved in the aerosol spray can. Previously, these liquids were ethanol or other volatile organic compounds, which are compounds that can easily go airborne. Great for mohawks, but not for the environment. Some VOCs can also be bad for your health, so starting in the late 1990s, hairspray companies had to reduce VOCs and add water to their formulas. These watered-down formulas don't hold hair quite as well, which is part of the reason you don't see 80s do's anymore. We can think of a couple other reasons, too. How rude! To compensate, current formulas also have other hair durific chemicals, plasticizing agents that make the polymer film more flexible and keep your hair moisturized, as well as silicones to help hair dry faster, increase moisture resistance, and generally make your hair feel less like brittle plastic and more like hair. <laughs> Lastly, hairspray also includes a propellant that helps propel the spray out of the can. These used to be chlorofluorocarbon gases, but those are bad for the ozone layer. So now most aerosol cans use hydrocarbon propellants like butane and propane instead. So your hair looks great all day, even when it drizzles on your way to work. To get the hairspray out, you'll need to break those polymer bonds. You can do that physically, either by mistake or on purpose, or you can use shampoo. We wanna give a huge thank you to YouTube for helping to make this video possible. Big thank yous to Lex Fleming of Made You Look and Trina Espinoza of Ms. Beautifile. Be sure to check out both of their awesome YouTube channels. Seriously, you'll thank us. Let us know what hair products you swear by, even if it's just a brush or nothing at all. You do you. And thanks for watching.